Hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the title of this video is Dealing with Flaky Women. So before I get into that, just want to let y'all know. So this channel is all about helping men and women be the best they can be in all aspects of their lives. I know I do mainly dating and relationships, but it's more than that. You got the health, wealth, and mindset as well. I want to help all y'all be who watch be the best you can be in all aspects yeah, of your life, you know what I mean? So you could be the best versions of yourself and be a complete person. That is what it's all about, you know what I mean? So I want to get that out of the way. Um, and I know we got some people here who are new. Welcome. I know we got some people who've been around for a while. Welcome. You know, for both the new people and the people who have been around for a while, who haven't done so, subscribe, hit the notification button, and if you want to support me or if you just like my videos, hit that like button. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? So let's get back into this topic. So we have the title again, Dealing with Flaky Women. It is very important because you got to know whenever you're dealing with these women, when to let them go. Because some guys, they hold on for dear hope. Literally, by their their finger, they about to just fall off the cliff, thinking that they, they could turn it around or that this woman still truly likes them, though they flaked on them constantly. You know, oh well, maybe we could do this. We could go on this date. Maybe then, you know, maybe in about a month or oh, I got to get to know you more. You know, they never want to get on a date, or if they do, they're constantly canceling, flaking. Sometimes they don't even call. Sometimes they do just to cancel, but they never really get on the date. You know what I mean? So that's the reason I'm making this video. So for you guys to know when you should let it go. And of course, this is my, my opinion. You know, some people have higher tolerance. Some people have lower tolerance. But I'm going to give you at least a baseline that you should be looking for. And again, a, a plan that you should have when dealing with women who flake. So first and foremost most important thing you have to set a quality date you have to set a quality date and a quality date is whenever you want to go on a date with a woman you say hey we will meet up at this time and this day and she agrees she agrees so now there's no more um, ambigu ambiguity or mystery and when you guys are supposed to meet up. You know that time and date you're supposed or day you're supposed to meet up. The only mystery should be where you're supposed to go. And that is up to you as the man. You will decide that. You know what I mean? But the day and the time, there shouldn't be a mystery. You know what I mean? So she has that time blocked out for you. You know, so um, she trying to flake on that. that that's, a, that's an issue. You know what I mean? That's an issue. And that's, you know, leads me to my next point. Whenever you set the date, you do not communicate until the day of the date. That's a Corey Wayne thing. I've adopted that. I've had some success with that as well. Um, again, if a girl really likes you, it doesn't matter what's going on in the world. She's going to make that date. And that's what you're looking for. You know what I mean? And if she's unsure, she'll call you or text you ahead of time. You know what I mean? Of course, there are some women. Hey, you know, you set the date. You don't talk to them until the day of the date. They may either forget or they may think you're not going to show. So they decide to make other plans. But those are the ones you want to look for. Because at the end of the day, they are showing you they don't have that high interest. Because again, if they were unsure, they didn't know if the day was still going on, they would call you, text you, let you, they would ask, are we still on? If they had super high interest. You know what I mean? And that is the key. You're trying to see their interest. And again, <laughs> you deal with this woman. You know, that leads me to my next point. And they flake on you. They just decide it's just a no call, no show. You one and done with no calls, no shows. One and done with no call, no show flakes. In my book. That's a 
ultimate disrespect. We set the uh, equality date. You know what I mean? You didn't want to make sure if we had any, if we were still on, or if I forgot, and you just decided no call, no show, it's over. It's a wrap. I'm not going to, you know, we'd be cool, but I'll never be seeing you in a romantic way again. You know what I mean? So that's just me. Some people may, you know, want to have, uh, um, be a little bit more lenient. You know what I mean? But I, I'm done. It's, it's a wrap for me. Because now you're showing me that I'm not the higher prior, priority for you. You know, so that's just me. But then my next point here, number four. If a woman does call and she cancels, but she does not reschedule for me again, I'm going to let it go because there's nothing wrong with canceling, but the rescheduling shows high interest because we know how life is. Things happen. I get it, you know, but you want to be seen as a priority in her life. You want to be seen as a priority. And if she cancels but says, oh, well, yeah, we'll just do it another time. Yeah, I I, I let it go. I let it go. I'm, she's done in my book, you know, in terms of romantics. Unless if she shows me that she's really down and she goes above and beyond to try, you know, to, to make it up to me. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, for you guys, if you want, you could always set a date for another a week or two. You know what I mean? So. That's another Corey Wayne thing, Coach Corey Wayne. You know, but me personally, I'm done. It's over. It's a wrap. You know, but again, this leads me to my next point. Number five, if she does cancel but reschedules, you're good to go. Of course, there's no guarantee she could cancel again or no show, no call. You never know. She could flake again. You just have no idea. But the key is at least she is showing some sort of high interest for you. You know what I mean? As opposed to she just can't say, oh, we'll just do another time or she just doesn't even call altogether. At least she's making an effort to reschedule. It shows high interest. That's what you want. That is what you want. You want a woman to show high interest by rescheduling for another time. But then, and you always got to keep this in mind, she better have a great reason for flaking. And it's not about having a reason. It has to be great. You know what I mean? Because again, they can say whatever they want in terms of, let's say they don't reschedule. Say, oh, I did this. We'll just do it another time. You know what I mean? But even then, it's like, if they do reschedule, you still better have a great reason. She can't be like, oh, well, you know, something came up or um, my my goldfish Sammy's cousin, uh, baby mama died and we having a funeral for it, you know, the day of your date and at the exact time of the date. You know what I mean? Maybe if they had a, uh, you know, a death in the family or, you know, something running a little long, you know what I mean? Um, you know, maybe that, you know, they're at a, a work or something or whatever the reason, you know what I mean? And it's running long or shit. I mean, maybe, I, I don't know, man, because it's like, you could come up with things and life happens. Maybe the car breaks down. I get it. You know, something happens and it's really valid, you know, but at the end of the day, I think, you know. Yeah, the key is if they reschedule, but if they, they give you a valid reason and they reschedule, they good. But I'll give you a bonus tip here, a bonus tip. If they do say, hey, or, or, or if they reschedule or if they say, maybe we, you know, something happened. Maybe we got traffic. My car is acting funny right now, um, but maybe I take it to a mechanic or something. If it's something small. And they say, hey, let's push it back. Maybe you're supposed to meet up at 730. They want to meet up at, at 8, you know. Or even if they don't, you know, they don't give you a time. You ask for a time. When do you? When will you be available? When will you be able to make it here? You know what I mean? And even if they give you a time, if that time does not work for you, reschedule. Reschedule the date. If it does, cool. 
But if it doesn't, reschedule the date. That's a bonus tip. If they are running a little late or they want to reschedule for maybe a later time, if it works for you, cool. If it doesn't, cancel. You know what I mean? Cancel and reschedule another time. You know, so that's a little bonus tip for y'all. Um, but hey, let me know what you think. Let me know if you, you agree, disagree with my list. Let me know what I missed. You know, and let me know if you think all was well. You know what I mean? Of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. And if you disagree or if you dislike the video, leave me a comment. Let me know why. Let me know how come you disagree so I could do better for y'all. Because again, this channel is not just for me. It is for y'all. In reality, it is for y'all more than it is for me. I'm just a creator. You know what I mean? So um, with that being said, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. I know I do a lot of the dating relationship, but hey, we got health, wealth, and mindset as well. Let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. All that is fair game. And I will say I do appreciate donations. I appreciate donations only if you find value in the video. Any little bit counts. You find value in the video. You feel the need to donate. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it. You know what I mean? Until next week, remember... Stay safe, keep on learning, keep on applying, keep on growing, and always keep in mind the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.